what is going on everybody so it was wednesday morning about 9.30. I've got an extra event session to do. Um, I've got something on next week that I won't be able to make this event session. So I'm gonna get started today. So today is gonna be kind of like prep for Brian's competition for the Shaw Classic. First off today, I'm gonna be doing sandbag throws, farmer's carry into sandbag carry. I'm gonna do some duck walk and then arm over arm at the end. And that'll be my event session done for today. And then we'll go back and see Tom and see what he's saying so I'll go get ready I need a jobby first and then we'll start with sandbag throws I'm tired mate it's an early session but that's all we got to do that's all we got to do mate how are you feeling for the shot classics Really good. Uh, I'm buzzing for it actually. It's a good set of events. I think with Brian it's nice because he really thinks about the event. Aye, it's just good fun events I think. Um, so it should be good. Because we're at, like right down at sea level here, the altitude always has a, a, a factor out there. But yeah, we'll just go out maybe about a day earlier or so. Try and adjust as much as we can. And uh, yeah, really excited. Excited because Tom seems really up for it this year as well. Which is always good. You know, when Tom's buzzing for something. I keep saying it when Tom's buzzing, then it rubs off on, on us the right way, you know, and, and everything that we do. So yeah, it's cool. It's gonna be good, it's gonna be good fun. Seeing all the guys again. But yeah, first things first, obviously the Albra Hall is the first competition that we've got. Go down, smash that, and then out to Shaw's, smash that. Deadlift Championships. Um, then Glasgow. And then, I guess the Rogue, Inv Rogue Invitational is, uh, to be confirmed, I haven't seen any invites yet, but um, if the invite came, 100% would do that. So, yeah, interesting. A busy year, mate. Excited. Getting match fit again, or match broken. We'll see what happens. <laughs> I'm gonna do this throwing topless, mate. Oh, yes. Uh, uh, <laughs> We're gonna do sandbag throw, we'll do 10 reps with this which should hopefully help me warm up nice and get everything a bit more looser as well. Everything just feels, obviously in the morning, uh, I'm just a bit tighter. It was a big session yesterday, Tom and I did uh, Viking press. So I think we went up to for 10 reps. So we'll get warmed up and get into it. I like with sandbag throw because it's so explosive you've got to be quite quick as well you don't want to waste too much time but when you're throwing you want that kind of triple extension you want up in the up in your toes and the release point is very critical release it too soon it'll uh, go out in front of you release it too late it won't get the height and the trajectory of the, the implement that we're throwing um, is going to really go off so it's just at that sweet spot. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm decent at throwing, I know I'm okay, but when you look at like, like when Tom throws, he's really good. He's always releasing at the same point. Um, remember Mateus, our world's strongest man, when you watch that, releasing at just the right, right moment. And you really want to get your hips and your hammies into it as well. You really want to drive those hips and hamstrings and really explode. I try and almost get off the ground when I'm throwing. Um, and I know it's a good throw when I when I fully explode, fully extend. I know it's a, you can feel it when it's a good throw. You know it's going to go over. Um, so yeah, just a little bit of advice there. Obviously, we've got the Stoltman Strength Academy. Please check the link. Um, and if you want to join up, we've got a cool new uh, strongman forum that we've just launched uh, on the Strength Academy, which Tom and I are going to be uploading videos to. You can't see them anywhere else, you know, we're just uploading them onto the, the Strength Forum on the Strength Academy. It gives you a little bit more behind the scenes, I guess, of what Tom and I get up to, up to during the week in training. Um, you know, failing, we can show you our fails, we can show you our highlight reels, whatever you want. But yeah, please check it out if you want to join StoltmanStrengthAcademy.com. We'll see you there.
One more for good luck. One more for it. 100. This session's all a bit lighter. So that was like 20 kilo, 21 kilo sandbag. Um, and then we'll just increase the weights. We've got to fix that. Um, our weight for height, the bar popped off. So we'll get that, get that fixed and uh, yeah, keep pushing up until shows. So 100 kilo farmers, 100 kilo sandbag, gonna carry the farmers for five meters, run back, pick up the 100 kilo sandbag, run f five meters with it, and then keep doing that uh, for four times up until kind of 20 meters or so. Yeah, I guess this is just conditioning with heavy weights. Fuck knows. <laughs> no, it'll, it'll be good fun. I think once we get into the swing of things, yeah, and, and a wheelbarrow, it's the same, you know, you're picking a wheelbarrow up the same as the farmers, so um, a little bit different because it's out in front of you, but the, the thinking behind it is the same, so yeah, fair play to, to Big Dan. Mr. Menagi again. Uh, I like this way of training, so yeah. But I guess the proof is in the pudding. Let's see what happens at Shaw's, and let's see if we can turn up, turn the spice up. I'm just at Cormouth just now, just here, and then by the Shaw's, I'll probably be a spicy Corma. Come on, Luke. Come on. Would you say your conditioning is now compared to at the start of the year at Arnold's? Oh, night and day. And I think it was just having the length of time off that I did. Really didn't know how my body would react to things. Um, so I just came in. I was probably 10 kilos heavier at the Arnold's than I am now. So, um, or maybe just under. So at the moment, I think I'm like 163 kilos morning weight. Um, so conditioning wise I feel a lot better, um, starting to do more just movement, you know, just like walking at night, taking the dogs out for a walk at night, um, I go for a walk along the beach in the morning when I go for a swim, just trying to get that, that steps in because I think it all does pay, um, you know, it does boost everything so I think whereas I maybe got into a bit of a slump last year, some bad habits, um, routine was out of whack a little bit, I just got a little bit lazy with stuff, it was a little bit too soon to, to make up for for that, so just need to keep that good routine, so it's, that's what I'm saying to myself, it's getting back, like routine is the most hardest thing to do in the world, training isn't, training and diet's easy, once you get into that routine, but getting into a routine that's healthy, that's productive, that's pushing you towards your goal, that's one of the hardest things in the world to do because there's so much things out there to distract you from your routine, from TikTok, Instagram, all this bullshit stuff, so if you can just switch off from that, get up, do your stuff, do what you're supposed to do, right, I need to do that and that's what I've been doing the last, last little while and I feel so much better for it, so routine, getting into a good healthy routine is a is one of the most challenging things, but once you're there, everything else just falls into place, so that's it, it's very simple for me now, so 
um, just keep that routine healthy and positive more than anything. I just need to be as positive as I can. Um, and if I find myself slipping, then I need to check myself and, and kind of reassess and reevaluate. But yeah, but yeah, conditions are a lot better. <laughs> That's a long answer to that question. <laughs> Jesus. What was your favorite thing about the Shell Classics last year? Um, Reddit. Reddit, yeah. <laughs> All the fans on Reddit shouting us out. Thanks for that, guys. Do you know what I was thinking about that? I got thoughts. Sometimes I take things personally. Um, I should stop doing that because everyone's entitled to their own opinions, so. Like me or hate me. I'm still going to compete, it doesn't really matter, so, um, and I guess all publicity is good publicity, well, let's just hope that it's a bit more positive this year. Um, you know, last year it was stressful, um, but we won't go into it. The first time we competed, or I competed, it was just the, I don't know, just the originality of all, I think that was really cool. Um, Brian is very original in what he does. Um, even the panel before we did like a panel, like there were some questions to the guys in the crowd. Um, I think it was like VIPs, whatever. Um, so that was really cool to do. And the events and the setup and what he's trying to do as an athlete, I think is really cool. So that's, that's my favourite thing about it. And it gives us, it's hard not to take inspiration from what Brian's trying to do. So um, yeah, but my favourite part of this year. The Shaws will probably, will hopefully be winning it. That's what we're going there for. So, um, get that win. It's a massive show now, you know, it's a huge, really heavy show. Over two days. There's an expo there now as well, which is really cool. Um, but yeah, I'm just really excited to get there. And uh, just to put on a good show, because I think that's, no matter what you think of us, or what you think of me, should I say, all you want, I guess, is for me to go there and, and give it my all. And yeah, last year, that wasn't a good showing from me. I can hold my hands up and say that. But this year, I know I'll be going there 100%. Same with Albert Hall, same with all the shows that we do. I want to go up and turn turn up and, and smash them and um, put on a good display for all you guys watching and supporting. Um, so yeah, I don't know. It should be fun, I guess. I'll shut up. <laughs> my third event today, it's, I said it was duck walk but it's uh, power stairs so got the duck walk implement um, but me being an idiot I haven't taken anything to load it on so I'm going to try might be a bit sketchy but I'm going to try and put it up in the fingers so the fingers line I'm just going to lift it up from the top take it down obviously not going to step up on it just just to try and mimic that cool height and then take it back down so I'm going to do three sets of five, hopefully. I don't know, I don't drop it on my toe or something.
What's the biggest difference when you don't train with Tom or when you train alone? I think I'm pretty good at motivating myself when I'm alone. But, you know, for me to train with Tom and Harry, you know, it's just the energy, you have good energy. So, you know, when Tom's on form and Harry's on form, um, it pushes me to be better and do better. Um, plus, you know, training with Tom, you know, he's the strongest guy, you know, so to me he's, this is no disrespect mate, but I think he's the most gifted or the most raw, talented guy out there, you know, so and that's not taking anything away from, from Mitchell. Mitchell one world's strongest man, he put in an absolutely amazing display and he's a really amazing strong man, but I'm just talking about pure, like, raw ability. When Tom harnesses all that and he has um, the confidence and the mindset, um, yeah, it's just it's it's really incredible to see. So it's a it's a privilege for me to be. That's a difference, you know. So I feel privileged to be able to do this as a as a job. But then being able to train with Tom, um, it's even more of a privilege, isn't it? So yeah, and I miss him. A big daft fucker that he is. So <laughs> miss his big face and. Um, yeah, it's good fun. Like last time we trained, you know, seeing Harry get the 100 kilo stone on the highest platform, you know, that's a memory that's kind of, will be etched in me throughout Harry's career and um, the rest of my life, you know. Doing things like that, the first time you do something is really special, so um, yeah, it's cool. What are we doing now? We'll try and do arm over arm. <coughs> See how it goes. session of the week done for me. Um, so what to do? Sandbag throw, um, farmers and sandbag, power stairs and then some arm over arm. Felt okay, nothing super heavy today but getting the getting in the swing of things. So we're gonna pop back to the gym, jump in the ice bath and hopefully Big Tommy will be there and we get a chat with him. So come to the gym with us now. And we're here, look who's here! Told you we'd get him! So we're here, we've got some cold water stuff to do, recovery, bit of my protein filming to do, and that's it. How are you Tom? Good, but how was training? It was good. Excited, we missed you. I was doing conditioning today, I start what looks doing next week. I just wanted an extra week because uh, I was a bit tired today. I had to go early, so yeah, I've got something on next week, so I might not be able to get it done. So, just preempting that, so I'd started this week, get it all set up for Big Tommy, so we know what we're doing. So we're going to get this done. Um, we're going to end the video here. If you want to watch what we've just done, check out our Instagram. A lot of my protein skit coming up soon. Thank you for watching. What do they do, Tom? Stay safe, smile, and stay spicy. And please don't forget to ring that little bell. So today I'm going to walk you through the log press. Hey guys, this is week one of the Atlas Stone tutorial by Tom Stoneman. Right guys, today's tutorial is 